Hey guys! So for today's video, I'm going to be filming my favorites. It's going to be my October favorites. Yeah, because we're in November already. Yeah. So I do have quite a bit of stuff since I haven't done a favorites in forever. Um, Dude, hopefully I don't have any lipstick. But anyways, without further ado, let's just get started. So my first product that I want to talk about is the palette that I've been using like crazy. Um, you've seen it in my last past videos. I've been really, really obsessed with all these colors and how they're matte and you just can create so many things with this palette. So I've been definitely loving it for the month of October and it is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Um, it just looks like this. If you have seen my past last videos, you've known that I've used this palette. So I do use it off camera as well. And I've just been loving it because you really have a nice combination of neutral and warm colors. So if you are someone who loves matte um, eyeshadows, this is definitely the palette for you to get. Um, you can create so many looks and you have a really good variety of light and um, transitions to really dark um, outer corner um, colors. So I really, really love, love this palette and I've been using it a lot. And I do recommend it for those of you. For those of you who are looking for an everyday palette that has a bunch of colors um, to work with. I love this palette so much. Oh, yeah, I've been also loving the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. And this is just called Magic Precision Pen Eyeliner. And this is in the color black. I did get... I did get this sample from a long time ago that I did um, online shopping and I've been really loving it. Um, when it starts getting dry though, it's really hard to really get that sharp end line. But other than that, it's super, super dark, super easy to work with and it has um, a really nice felt tip that um, you can easily work with. So. It just looks like that and um, it's really long lasting it is waterproof so if you do want to take it off you have to use like a makeup remover or something um, mine is like completely done that's why it's not as dark as it's supposed to be but I am wearing it today and I've been wearing it every single day that I use eyeliner I don't know if I want to get the full size though just because it's so expensive and Eyeliner is something that I use every single day and I don't know that's that's expensive for an eyeliner It is a lot bigger than this um, But it was really nice. So if you do want to splurge on a good eyeliner I would definitely recommend this one and also loving the NYX skinny mascara um, This I use on my lower lashes. Um, I do use it sometimes if I want to separate like my top lashes, but most of the time I just use it for my um, lower lashes because the brush is so tiny that it's so easy to get in there. The only thing that I don't like about this product is that it gives out so much product when you first take it out that you really have to be careful and take out all that excess mascara so it doesn't clump the lower lashes but other than that it's so nice and easy to get in those lower lashes if you guys know me and have been watching me for a while you know that i love the clinique lower lash mascara but um i haven't been able to go to sephora at all and um someone recommended this nyx mascara and it's so much easier for me to get so i just decided to give it a try and i have been loving it so if you're looking for a lower lash mascara i would definitely recommend you checking this out and it's really affordable and you can find it in any target or ulta or anywhere where they sell nyx this product i did not think I was ever going to love because I had like a love and hate relationship with it. I didn't like it at the beginning. But then I gave it one more chance because I ran out of my clear, 
clear brow gel from Anastasia and I had this in the drawer and I was like fine I'll just give it a try and see how it does and it is the benefit gimme brow um what would you call this like uh brow volumycine fiber gel um it is in medium deep and I think it was because I didn't know how to use it at the beginning or maybe because it wasn't giving me the effect that I wanted but I've been loving it for this past month. Um, I think it's because it's a little dried out that it's giving me a lot more coverage than it was at the beginning. Anyways, it tells you that it's supposed to give you like this fuller look of um, your eye your eyebrows which at first I didn't really notice at all but now that I've been doing a less dramatic eyebrow um, I've been pairing this one with the elf um, eyebrow kit and these two paired together are amazing so I've been really really loving the effect that it gives on my brows it's not as powerful as the clear brow gel from Anastasia where it gives you that I hope I'm not getting those lines um that like hairspray effect on your eyebrows it's not as strong but I do like how it fills in those sparse areas that I do have on my eyebrows so I've been definitely loving this one um but again I did have a hate and love relationship for a really long time because I think I didn't know how to use it but now that I but now that I do know I really do love it and if you are looking for something to use for an everyday um brow product I would definitely recommend this one um because you can just literally wear it for an errand that you're running late and um this will fill your eyebrows a little bit so if you are on a rush definitely get that a blush that i've been obsessing over this month is the or last month is the milani power powder blush in romantic rose these are the ones that come in that really pretty rose um shape inside and i've been loving it i don't know if you can still get this specific color i do know that they came out with um a lot more different colors this was the um first like batch that they came out with so um you know how they first brought them out then they took them out and then they brought other ones this was from the first time that they came out with these blushes and this is in romantic rose number one it is so pretty i've been using it every single day for every single look let's see it's like a mauvey well not really it's like a dusty rose but it's so natural and pretty and I'm so obsessed with it because I literally have used it with every single makeup look that I do and it looks amazing and um, it's really blendable which I love and super pigmented as well so you have to have like a light hand um, for this product so I've been loving it I don't know if you can still get your hands on this you might but I'm not sure I'm um, sticking with cheek products I have been obsessing over this makeup forever pro sculpting duo in number one um, this is the purplish highlight um, I do have both but Man, this one is so gorgeous. I don't know if you can tell in the camera. I am wearing it today. But it's so pretty how it's like a duochrome. Well, holy moly. Like, are you kidding me? It's so beautiful. I love it. If you're as light as I am, it's this one right here. But do you see? It's like a duochrome, like purplish pearl pink oh you just see so many colors i don't know if you can see it on the camera but oh i'm so obsessed with it i've been rocking it so much i don't know if i've filmed a video with it but every single day i just want to wear this highlighter because it's so gorgeous and again if like i said if you are around my skin tone this will look 
so pretty on you so 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 pretty um i do have the number two but i think that one's a little bit dark for me um but if you're a lot darker than my skin tone that will look gorgeous on you it's still a really gorgeous color but it's just not gonna pop out as much as this one is if you're my skin color so i've been obsessing obsessed over this one so so pretty and if you want that really intense um highlight this will definitely do it all the way i do have quite a bit of lip products so let's just get started so i've been wanting to get this color for forever and i kept going into mac and they didn't have it and i was like uh, I was so upset because I really really wanted it and I did want other colors but this is the only one that I got my hands on and I've been loving it it is the MAC lip liner in spice I know guys the Kylie Jenner lip I don't I don't care it's so pretty you know me I love me those terracotta brownish reddish lips i i'm so obsessed with them and i don't care if they're Kel kylie jenner lips i don't care but they're so pretty this is the color spice i love it i love 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 it and if you're really going for that 90s lip color this is the way to go um i do use this color like for an everyday makeup look so. when you use a lip liner i have found that they that that they stay on for a lot longer um so i've been obsessing over this one and if you can get your hands on definitely get it because it's so worth another lip product that i have been obsessing over now that it's been that fallish season um is the veronica liquid lipstick and it is from anastasia beverly hills um i love the color and i love that it's not sticky when you first apply it um because there is some liquid lipsticks that stay tacky um even after they have dried out and this product definitely doesn't at all it is so pretty it's definitely a lot darker than how it looks on the tube and on my skin tone it looks a lot darker i know that if you're a lot um darker than i am it will not look as dark as it looks on me but i love it because when i don't want to go for that full dark lip um i know that this one is a great option for me because it's not so dark but it's not too light that it doesn't look fallish you know um so i've been really really loving it and it does stay on for a really long time um if you eat a lot of like fry food it will come off a little bit from the inside but other than that it will stay on and i know that you can get these in macy's or online so i love them and i really want to try some new colors from these because they're really great so the next product that I want to show you guys are these two liquid lipsticks that I've been so in love with and I don't know what took me so long to get a hold of them. I seriously had heard so many good things about them but then I was like should I get it? Should I not? Should I get it? And I finally decided and I'm now like I want to buy their, their whole collection because they're so amazing. Out of all the liquid lipsticks that I have tried these are like the best ones best formula best packaging they smell so amazing the longevity is to die for like i love them and the colors that i got are so pretty that i can just wear them every single day and i always get so many compliments on them that i really really recommend you guys getting a hold of these if you guys haven't already they are the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks i have the color truffle and stone and Ugh, I love these colors so much. They are so up my valley. You guys know I love that terracotta, brownish, purplish, mauve everyday color. Like, I love it. This is the color Truffle right here. I'm so obsessed. Out of, and out of these two, I love Truffle a lot more. Just because it's a little bit more terracotta brownie you know 
nudie, I don't know, on my skin color, that's how it comes out. I know on a lot of you, it's going to come out a lot different, um, but on me, it, that's how it comes out, and I, I'm so obsessed with it. I wear it every single day, and I get so many compliments all the time because the colors are just gorgeous, and they stay on for a long, long time. This is the color Stone. And this color right here is a lot more purple and mauve -y. so if you like that color a lot more, I'd recommend you getting Stone. And Stone has been a super popular color for them, so if you want to get your hands on it, I would recommend you guys doing it as soon as possible because it's so amazing. They do look kind of alike, but I don't really think so. I know, lipstick hoarder problems. But um, again, this is a lot more brownish and this is a lot more purplish. So completely different. You should completely get them both. If you have the money, go for it. And I did hear that they came out with brick, which was another really pretty color and bear with me. So I really wanna get my hands on those because again, guys, these, formulas are so amazing they're not drying on the lips at all which i personally love i don't really care a lot but if a lipstick doesn't dry out your lips why not and i have been suffering from dry lips because of the season and snow is falling and ugh, i know so i have been obsessed with them and you guys should completely get your hands on these because they are amazing and the hype is so, so I think that's it guys. I Those were my October beauty favorites. Um, I really, really have been obsessing over all these products so much. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I'll see you guys all in my next video. So I'll see you guys later.